Welcome to another video on the digitallifestyle.com. This video I'm just going to show you I'm running Freeview HD in Windows Media Center. Uh, Freeview HD was launched a couple of years ago now actually, so uh, it's rolling out across the UK with selected HD channels. And up until now there's been no way to watch those in Media Center. Uh, so I'll be using the Black Gold uh, dual DVB-T T2 tuner. And the T2 is the is the is the format that when you that Freeview HD are using. So I've already installed the card in a Tranquil IXL. Um, you can see the pictures of the card on uh, on the blog. But uh, what I want to show on this video is just uh, the fact that it works. You can see the channels in there, and uh, we'll perhaps just have a look at the CPU and see what sort of load the, the HD channels have. So this is a dual tuning card capable of Freeview HD. So. The TV setup is exactly the same as a normal Freeview HD card, except it detects these extra channels, and the, these are the channels here. So we've got uh, BBC One HD, ITV One HD, Channel Four HD, and BBC HD. Now the guide data for all four channels isn't available when you first install Media Center. So what you've actually got to do, say for BBC One, is to edit the guide listing and select a different channels guide, in this case you would use BBC One's guide uh, in place of the BBC One HD's guide and then of course it then BBC One HD and BBC One uh, share the same guide data so that's no problem. For BBC HD it's slightly different, there is no uh, simple way of doing that but I am in the process of writing a small application that will automate this for you uh, so that's how I've got the guide in there so let's go and have a look at some HD content. But the tragedy has given historians a priceless legacy. So obviously it's hard to see on a on a video like that, but that's uh, HD. Let me maybe compare that with um, a non-HD channel. See, I don't know who else picked that up, but I can see some some pixelations, and you can see some blocks, especially around here. And if I go back to the HD channel, see that hasn't got that effect. Everything is crystal clear, beautiful. And see that's really nice really good quality so I really love the picture quality you can really see the difference when I was watching the some like Doctor Who you could really see the difference so let's set this to record so we're recording that now we'll go and have a look at BBC One So let's record that one as well. Much more detail about the roads and school closures in your area on your BBC local radio station. Okay, so there. So we're now recording two channels. Mercury last night is alleging that three senior FIFA officials have taken bribes. Have a look at the CPU. Shown just three days before decisions made on whether England will win the video. And as you can see, it's hardly touching the CPU at all. So I think that's pretty good. We'll have a look. Processes, that's all that's causing the most CPU usage. We only managed to get hold of this list of secret payments. So, zero, uh, so it's really zero, one, or two. So, that's recording now two channels of Freeview HD. So, we can uh, leave that running. So while that's recording, let's go and have a look. Let's play some Freeview HD. So now we're recording two channels of Freeview HD and playing a third channel. I'll play a, a, a recording video. So again, you can see there's really no no impact on the system at all. And it's really hard to, de to, to, to describe how nice this picture looks. 
I mean, these these fine details are amazing. Um, I, I know that people with Sky HD or free HD channels um, in the states get spoiled by it, but I mean this is the first time I've seen it in Media Center with preview, and, and it looks fantastic. Another thing I've been really impressed with is, is the uh, signal quality. Now, in the past, I have had lots of issues with signal quality. If you listen to the podcast, a couple of years ago, I was having major issues. Um, and I was trying PC, uh, PCIe cards, I was trying USB. You know, the HD home, home Run was the, the tuner that seemed to settle the best for me, and also the um, another media tuner, USB one, seemed to work quite well. So I had some problems with the Hop Home Runs. Uh, but this is a, a, an internal PCIe card, a little small card, and it works brilliantly. There's no problems with signal quality, like you saw through then. Um, it just it just works fine. So I have ended up now with a dual card that is as good, or if not better, than, than than for signal quality than any of the other cards I've had. And given this one in the HD, I thought it might be an issue, but it isn't. So I'm reluctantly going to have to give the card back to Tranquil, who uh, who lent me the card. I should have the add-in out maybe later uh, by the end of this week, the first week of December, uh, to sort the Freeview HD guide data out. So thanks for watching this video. I'm really big. Uh, thanks to Tranquil for lending me the card and I'm just going to be sorry to give it back. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.